Hi, it's Darnell with Wave of Recipes. Today, I'm going to be grilling boneless, skinless chicken breasts in the Power Air Fry Oven 360. So we can see how this cooker does with grilling chicken breasts. And we're going to get started on that recipe right now. All right, our ingredients for these grilled chicken breasts in the Power Air Fryer Oven 360 are two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, some extra virgin olive oil, some applewood smoked sea salt, Mrs. Dash chicken grilling blend, and some freshly ground black pepper. I'll be using the iGrill 2 meat probes to keep track of both pieces of meat during the cook to make sure that I cook both to a minimum temperature of 165 degrees. Now I'm going to get the uh, Power Air Fryer Oven 360 started. So I'm just going to turn to bake because I want to get the temperature up to 425. On air fry you can't go beyond uh, 400. So I want to go to 425. I'm going to set the temperature out to 40 minutes. It should not take that long. but because I'm going to be tracking temp. The air fryer fan is invoked, so I'm basically, you know, it's going to get real loud as soon as I start preheating. So let me tell you what I'm going to be doing here before I start the preheat and the air fryer fan starts making all its noise. I'm going to just coat these with the oil and spices. Then I'm going to set them on the uh, crisper tray, get the meat probes into them. And then when things are finished preheating, I'm just going to stick the crisper tray in there with the baking pan underneath to catch, catch the drippings. So I'm going to go ahead and start the preheat and start working on this chicken breast now. Alright, we've reached our preheat temp, so I'm going to hit pause. I'll just turn it back to a full 40 minutes so I can just track time to subtract from that, but really going to be gauging by the meat probe temp and that'll let us know for going forward how much time is really necessary. So I get the crisper tray on the air fry rack and the baking tray is on the pizza tray that's on the baking level underneath and making sure that my door seals well because I want to make sure that things are sealed real nice and tight. Hit start. And so I'm going to let these chicken breasts just go ahead and cook. And uh, I'll bring you on back when things are looking good and done. I'm showing you the uh, temperature of the chicken breast right now. The one on the left is 43 degrees. One on the right is 42 degrees. I'll bring you back. All right, a little over 25 minutes have passed and the one on the left is getting very close to done. The one on the right will be done momentarily as well. So our time is looking about 26, maybe 27 minutes um, before they're done. One of them has reached 165. The other is uh, getting close, but I'll bring you back when these are finally finished. All right, so 28 minutes have passed. Both have reached the temperature at or above 165 degrees. I'm just gonna hold the cancel button, well I'll just tap the cancel button there, turn my eye grill 2 off. So about 28 minutes is all you need to get your chicken breast cooked to a fully cooked temperature at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is our finished product here. Alright, so with this done I'm going to try and get these on my cutting board. Seems I've got my meat probes kind of tangled there. And meat probes in there pretty deep. Alright, now get this other one. Alright. This stuff kind of out the way back in here. Sorry about that excess noise, but just want to get that out the way for now. So uh, I'm going to cover these, let them rest for about 10-15 minutes just to reabsorb the juices a little bit and then I'll cut plate and taste test. Okay so I've got my chicken here that's been resting about 10-15 minutes and uh, it's going to take the foil off that I had covering it and that is our finished product. 
you can see as it reabsorbs juices some of the juices come out but you want to wait you don't want to just eat immediately you want the juices to kind of reabsorb some that are going to reabsorb in before you start uh, digging in to eat. I'm going to cut one in half now and uh, let you have a look inside of one. There you go. Fully cooked. Very juicy. Very juicy. So just going to get a couple slices for taste test purposes. Sliced off of here. And I'll just put this other bigger part on the plate just for viewing after I move the camera around. And so I'll get the, move, the camera moved around and do a taste test. All right, here's our grilled chicken breast from the Power Air Fryer Oven 360. I just want to show you the underside because I didn't flip this one. So the underside, you know, it's got pretty good cook on it. It's got some char on the bottom there. So without flipping, did pretty good. Let's do a taste test. That's super juicy, super tender, good to go. So the cooking time here at 425 was just 28 minutes. In the Power Air Fryer Oven Elite, I did 15 on one side, 15 on the other. I flipped those and it took um, 30 minutes. And so those cooked in about the same amount of time. In the New Wave Bravo XL Smart Oven, I've cooked these and it took just under 30 minutes at 425 there using their, the probe function bit, built into that. Uh, smart oven air fryer so all these cookers grill your chicken breast in about the same time so any type of uh, toaster oven or like convection type toaster oven or air fryer that you have probably will do about the same except for maybe the drawer pull out air fryers may be a little different as far as the cooking time but as far as the oven type of cookers that do air frying they're all going to do about 425 and probably you know 30 minutes or somewhere below they're going to knock it out. So I do I hope you like this video. This recipe and others in written form at superwaveovenrecipes.com. You can get printable copies there. If you want to just come straight to this YouTube channel anytime, you can go to the web address waveovenrecipes.com. That brings you right to this YouTube channel. Also, I'm on Twitter at Wave Oven Recipes. Instagram photos of this and other cooks are at uh, Wave Oven Recipes on Instagram. Patreon's patreon.com slash wave oven recipes. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share the video with a friend, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel, and good eating.